Thank you for tuning in to Love in Your Hands with Cynthia Clark, soulmate palmist, spiritual teacher, love coach, author, and speaker. We're sharing stories of love and connection and lessons learned along the way. This podcast is sponsored by loveinyourhands.com, the place to ignite soulmate love fast using an innovative system to help you end loneliness and toxic relationships and elevate your vibrational energy to soulmate love and deeply compatible partners. Get started for free at loveinyourhands.com. And now here's your host, Cynthia Clark. Hello, everyone. Thank you so much for joining us today. My name is Cynthia Clark, and I am your soulmate palmist and spiritual teacher. You can find me over at loveinyourhands.com if you are interested in finding soulmate love. And today I have a very special guest. I'm really excited to read his hands. His name is John Hatanaka, and he is a mystic songwriter in the band Sound and the Messenger. And you can find him over on Instagram if you want to follow him over there. And he is uh, located in Colorado, uh, where I used to live. So uh, welcome to the show, John. Thank you, Cynthia. Yeah, it's great to be here. Yeah, it's really nice to connect with you again. So why don't you tell us a little bit about your music and, and you know, the, the energy of your music. I've, I've been uh, lucky enough to hear some of it. So uh, tell everybody a little bit about it. I think it's really synchronistic. I think, especially during this time, we're kind of forced to do something of a higher purpose. And so I want to think that my music, you know, is really there to heal. I'm my healer. Um, and, and music heals myself as well. So um, all my bandmates that I've been able to come in contact with, that I'm with now, I'm so grateful for that. Um, it's been very synchronistic. So it's, it's something that's higher than myself. You know, all the, all the different meetings, there's so many coincidences involved and coincidences are miracles. Um, I learned that from India and I'm very involved with this thing called oneness world out of India. And, uh, and um, so that's a big part of my process as well. But uh, we've just been playing, we just got to play a wedding um, this other weekend, which was really a neat way to share music. And I hope to do that more. Um, and we've just been practicing about weekly and uh, just keep on songwriting and staying creative during this time. So important. So. Mm, yeah. So, so let's talk a little bit about music and how it's healing. And, uh, you know, when I think about music, I think about the, the vibrations and they, they've actually done studies where they would take a droplet of water and then they would put a note through the water and it would actually change the way the molecule of the water looked. So when you think that we are mostly made of water, uh, just think about how that can affect our own vibrational energy and our own, uh, just our own, like, can you describe that a little bit or, or have you thought about that or when you create music, mm, how, how do you think about that? I mean, the biggest thing was, was I was able to kind of erase the fact of the fact that I was doing anything and more of it through me. I don't feel like we're individually creators of anything. There's so much that goes into it. The creation process. I mean, the fact that I can just sit down with a guitar and words pour out, and I don't even know where they came from, you know. Mm. And I think my bandmate Natalie is kind of the same way. You just you start playing, and then she writes something down, and it's um, and it it helps us as well. So um, that's kind of why the the band is named what it is. It's called Sound and the Messenger because you know sound is the messenger. You know, it's. Mm -hmm. it's it creates the messages. Um, so um, I think I'm also very influenced by like Native American um, technology. In fact, lately I've been kind of, there's this other kind of mystic songwriter. Her name's Xephany. It's like, it starts with X and it's E-X-E-R-E-P-H-I-N-E -E -E, and she plays harp. But lately she's been, um, doing more storytelling with her music, which has kind of been something I've been inspired to do as well. And actually on my YouTube page, I, I actually did one um, based on the story of me hiking in the mountains and coming upon a feather. 
a Native American feather on the ground. Not a Native American, but a crow feather, which um, the Native Amer Natives really associated with um, magic. And so I've really kind of been tuning into that. And uh, there's this book called Animal Speak um, that um, really opened my eyes into like really kind of observing nature and, and looking um, for signs in your own life. And I think it's applied a lot. Um, mm. I get those messages all the time here in Sedona. I love that actually. So this morning I had a hummingbird that um, just came to my front window and it, it actually sat down on the windowsill. Wow. And it was so cool. And it was like, it was wanting to come in and it was, it was so beautiful. It was this little hummingbird. And what it was trying, I think what I think it was trying to tell me is that um, you know, it's such a small little creature and yet so powerful. And so that was kind of the, the message that I got. It's like, you, you may think that you're small and we may all feel that way, especially right now. Uh, but it's, we're still ultimately very powerful and we have an ability to impact the world that we're in. Wow. So, Do you actually want to see the reading for the hummingbird? Yeah, that. sure. If you've got it. Um, um, cause yeah, that was definitely a message <laughs> today yeah, for no, me. <laughs> this book has helped me so much. I really encourage anybody to get the book. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, I, and I like to tune in too when I meditate. I think about animals and I, I connect to different spirit animals and power animals. Okay. And, and I also like, uh, we just recently had our uh, 4th of July which was, um, I had a deer come and visit oh, wow. um, and it wanted, I have this bird feeder outside my window and it's, this deer came up and it was so cute and huh. it was like, it was just saying hello. <laughs> yeah. The deer yeah. has powerful meaning too. Um, yeah, I, find that book right fun. Now, but I think it really does. It shows every single animal that mm -hmm. you can possibly encounter and kind of like the <clears throat> meaning. it goes into like, um, like how they actually live. So you learn a lot about the animal, but then it goes into like how it might apply to your life. And um, some of it, I think maybe it's not completely true. You know, I think, I think your own intuition interpretation um, really plays in as well. And you can kind of feel I that. I agree. I agree. It's, it's kind of like dream symbology too. Okay. Everybody has personal messages that they start to associate with different things. Mm -hmm. And so, yeah, it may, there may be a universal meaning behind something, but there could also be a very personal meaning yeah. as well. So yeah, I, I agree with you on that. And sometimes we just have to sort of connect and go, Hmm, what is this trying to tell me today? And then you look at it, how is it relating to your own life like yeah. today? <laughs> and that can be very enlightening. So, but I want to take a quick look at your hands. I'm going to do okay. a, a screen share here so that everybody can actually see your hands. I've got just the pictures that you sent me a while ago. Oh, okay. So we're gonna look at these. Great. Okay, so uh, this hand, by the way, is a water hand, um, indicating that you have the long fingers, you have a long palm, and let's see, I am, not sure why it just disappeared. <laughs> where, where did it go? Okay, hold on just a second. Let me, sometimes my computer wants to just do weird things. I hear you. So it's like, don't look at me. <laughs> so now I gotta go find it all over again. It just. I wonder if my hand has changed at all, probably a little bit. Yeah, it probably has. But yeah, so you, a water hand, by the way, is the most adaptable of all the hands. And it's an indication that uh, you connect to your emotional realm. So I think that really ties in with your music. You're, you're such an emotional person. And like you said, it just sort of comes through you, which is really cool. And that's, uh, that's kind of a watery, adaptable kind of a thing. And so let me just see here. I don't know why this whole thing just closed out. That is so weird. 
Um, <laughs> never had that happen before. Huh. <laughs> Sometimes things don't want to be seen for some reason. Okay. Weird. Yeah. Anyway, I'm going to pull it up again. Okay. Thanks for your patience, everybody. Uh, <laughs> as I get this up. Okay. All right. So here we are. Okay. So yeah, long fingers, long palm, that's the water hand. And I wanted to point out that your strong finger on this hand, uh, right now we're, I'm looking at your left hand, is your Apollo finger or your ring finger, which is also your presentation finger. Okay. So this is where all of your creativity comes in mm -hmm. and you do have a lot of creative energy. And this is also known as the dreamer archetype. Mm. And the dreamer archetype represents the uh, pure potential. Okay, so you actually help other people in relationships tap into their uh, realm of possibility, their realm of infinite possibility, and the pure potential that, is, that exists. And so when you think about uh, all things being possible, that is what exudes from the dreamer archetype okay so when you're in a relationship you can open up, you can open up another person to that possibility of hey all things are possible and that's one thing i love about you is that you help um you help people including myself to see things from that that potential side of of looking at things Oh, well, thank you. Yeah. So, um, so I love that about you and you can help, you know, no matter where we are struggling and what we're, you know, maybe going through, the dreamer is also about tapping into that inner child and that playfulness and that fun. And you, I think you do that really well through just everything that you do. So that comes through your hand. Isn't that cool? That's neat. That's neat. <laughs> Yeah, so, so your best match in terms of a soulmate match or who I would recommend for you would be an earth person, okay? That's going to be actually the opposite uh, hand shape. It's going to be somebody with shorter fingers and more of a, a square palm, and they would have a long little finger. Uh, the little finger would come up above this upper phalange uh, of your... Apollo finger, and we would call that uh, the hermit archetype. Okay. So, so a hermit archetype is somebody who's very intelligent and curious, but also very grounding. Um, so they can help take your realm of pure potential, and then they can kind of direct it to what is the, the highest possibility of that potential. Okay, so hermit archetypes are uh, usually very wise. They know a lot about a lot of things, and they definitely can take help you to kind of take something to the next level. Like usually and, like a cook. I've been kind of um, attracted to cooks lately, like culinary. Okay. Because I think they're able to take a lot, and they have a very kind of they're spiritual, but they're also very, you know, they have to deal with a lot. It's a very, they're able to, um, yeah. I would, I would say that um, a, cook, a lot of cooks probably do have earthy hands because they're tapping into the physical. Yeah. And, you know, feeding somebody is, very, is a very physical kind of activity. Oh, yeah. And it's very nourishing. So it's funny you bring that up because I just had a dream about serving people food uh, last night in my dream. I was, wow. that was like my job. It was like I needed to go, I was in a hotel uh, restaurant kind of a thing and I needed to deliver these, uh, you know, beautiful trays of food with like the silver platters and I was delivering them to the different hotel rooms of people who ordered room service. <laughs> wow, wow. So to me, that represents like that spiritual nourishment, which is what I strive to give people uh, in these types of conversations. So anyway, kind of fun. Uh, 
Yeah. Yeah. So anyway, so that is your, that's your overall energy. And that is something that you naturally contribute to uh, the different relationships that you come into. So everybody should have a dreamer archetype in their midst. <laughs> it's a good thing to have. Um, and your creative energy definitely shows through this very long Apollo finger. Uh, and your creative zone is also quite prominent, the middle zone of your phalanges. So that's called, we call that the zone of creativity. Wow. So yeah, your zone of creativity is quite strong as well. Yeah. And then if we look at your other hand, uh, we may see some similar things or we may see slightly different things. Let me see if I can move this over. Um, yeah, it's not wanting to move. I'm having all sorts of issues. <laughs> Let's see. Maybe I need to uh, zoom it out first. There we go. Probably need to do that. There we go. Okay. So yeah, so here's your other hand. Uh, and again, we see that I love how straight your fingers are, by the way, too. That shows uh, that all of your uh, fingers are operating uh, more optimally. So, for example, uh, when you have a, a, a finger that bends, that shows a stress or a strain relating to that finger. So, for example, a lot of people have the middle finger bending. Mm -hmm. uh, that's very common. That shows a stress in duties and responsibilities and like an over worrying of, you know, money issues and things like that. So it's nice to see straight, straighter fingers. And it's not all that common either, by the way. Wow. So you've got some sensitivity showing up as well, uh, which again, I think kind of shows up in your refinement of your music. And that's this little line here above your heart line. So right underneath your fingers, um, okay. particularly your Apollo finger and your middle finger, uh, this little guy here, we call that a girdle of Venus. And mm. it shows an extra sensitivity, um, which you also can bring into your relationships. So I can see you being somebody who's very compassionate, uh, in terms of, you know, how you treat other people and you, you do have a lot of nice giving energy as well. This is Venus down here. Your thumb ball region is nice and pronounced. So that shows that you have a lot of available energy to give, which is always good to see. Great. Now you've also got some, another little interesting thing I just noticed is on your little finger, you've got these vertical lines coming up in your upper zone of Mercury. And this is called the messenger lines. Wow. So this is kind of fun because your, your band name, you yeah. know, the sound in the messenger, it's like, well, here's the messenger lines right here. And they're very prominent. Cool. Uh, so you've got a lot of like messages that want to come through you. And I, I would consider every single one of these lines to be like a different message. That's, and again, tapping into your archetype of the dreamer, mm -hmm. it's showing people the potential of what could be, what is possible. Great. So, yeah. So that's what I'm seeing with you. Now, uh, did you want to pull some cards um, on a, any current questions? Because I've, yeah, I've got my deck right here. Okay. So I thought that would be kind of fun. Yeah, definitely. Okay. So what do you want to, what would you like to ask? All right. Um, well, I'm dating this girl named Monica right now, but it's kind of gone into the friend zone kind of thing a little bit. Um, mm -hmm. And uh, I just want clarity on that. I think I feel good about it, though. So, okay. Um, but just see if it's maybe flip a card on. Okay. So I'm using my relationship deck, by the way. Anybody who's interested in finding this deck uh, can just go to my app. It's called DateMate Oracle. Uh, or you can go on to loveinyourhands.com and join our membership. And you can access it inside the membership. And it, and both of these are free uh, as of uh, the air date of this show. So 
Uh, okay, well, this is kind of an interesting card, John. <laughs> uh, it's the engagement card. <laughs> Wow. <laughs> so here I'm gonna stop the sharing. When, when so you showed that card too, it's it's 2:22 p.m. exactly. Oh, how interesting! <laughs> 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 so yes, here here's the engagement card, uh, which is basically saying a deeper commitment is coming. So it's actually possible for you to take this relationship to another level. Uh, it could be an engagement, but it could also just be a deeper connection or a deeper um, yeah. understanding. So, okay. yeah, yeah, but that to me is a very positive uh, message. Great. So, yeah. So how long have you been going out with this person? Pretty, pretty recently, but um, yeah. like in the last, right in the last like month or so. Um, mm. But uh but um, we met just completely online uh, over like an app. And then we just texted for like weeks before mm. we actually mm -hmm. saw them. So, yeah. Um, pretty, you know. Does she, does she live close to you? She's, or? Like, she's in, out in Aspen. I'm in oh, okay. In Aspen, Colorado. Okay. Very good. Well, yeah. yeah she's looks. A cook, so. She's a cook. That's okay. Fun. Well, there's good things, all good things about that. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> so yeah i'd say that would that would be fun okay well very cool uh yeah. do you have any other questions before we wrap up um i'm really looking clarity into life path and and really kind of clarity into like when i will find you know i think i'm i think many of us in this world right now are in our saturn return um but i think we're starting to come out of it and uh Yes. I'm wondering when things are going to, I think they're starting to become more like, it's pretty obvious that music is so important. Um, but mm -hmm. it's kind of like what it's focus is and when will I find complete clarity in that? Okay. Well, let's go back to your hands because that would actually be a career kind of a question. And so, uh, and we may pull a card as well, but yeah, career questions tie in, uh, with talents that show up, which we've already identified in your hands. Uh, but we also want to kind of take a look at your fate line, which has to do with career pathway. And just like when we see that line, we can kind of see the trends that are happening. Um, and, and are you right-handed? Is that your active hand? Yes. Okay, so let's look at your active hand, your right hand. And that's the one that I'm on right now. Okay, so yeah, so the fate line, uh, we can see some of these coming up actually from Luna. Okay, now Luna is the far point of the hand opposite the thumb ball, and it's the least accessible part of your hand. So when we do see a fate line starting over here, it's showing that you're intuitively guiding yourself into your career path okay so, so true. this is definitely the case i think with you um which is why your fate line is starting in luna luna is the the realm of the subconscious uh and we do see some breaks now by the way it's very very common to see breaks in the fate line that just will show a shift in your career a shift in your you know what are you working on you know it's not anything to be alarmed about yeah. Um, we do see a break uh, right about here, which is, I would still consider this quite early in your life. So, and there's a little bit of overlap, I would say, in your 20s. This, yeah. this would represent like your 20s. And how old are you now, John? I'm 34. 34. Okay. So you should be approaching your headline area right now. Okay, so I consider like the crossover of the headline to be approximately age 30 to 35. Okay. Um, which kind of makes sense because that would represent like your first Saturn return. Yeah. Okay, so, and then it kind of shortens up. Okay, so this period here in between your headline and your heart line would actually be like 35 to say 55. So like the next 20 years it kind of crunches up a little bit and then past your heart line is 
you know, kind of like your second Saturn return, uh, where you get more into retirement and that sort of thing. Cool. Okay. So what I see with you is you do have that sort of break. It looks like right around 35, you know, 34, 35. I would say you're on it right now, actually. But look how clear this line is. Okay. The one that I'm pointing to, if if everybody's, uh, you know, if you're watching, uh, you can see this line right here. And if you're listening, it's just the point above his headline and below his heart line. And it's a vertical line. This is this definitely a fate line or Saturn line. And so it does show that you are transitioning right now into a new phase. Uh, I would say this phase should be completed by the time you're 35. So in the next year or so is, you know, the timeline. Hmm. And then it looks like you're pretty solid for, you know, the next 10 to 20 years. And then we look again at like, what is the line doing above there? And then it looks like it shifts again, okay? Because the line kind of stops at the heart line and then it kind of jogs over again. And by the way, these lines can change too. All lines in the hand can change, but this is what we're seeing right now, okay? So this is showing the potential, but just it's something to keep an eye on. Uh, But it does look like you're gonna be pretty solid. You're gonna be stabilizing. And then, yeah, come into your 50s again, 55 or so, it looks like you're going to have another pretty big shift. Cool. I feel like the world is going to have to shift by then too. I mean, it's going to be included. I agree. But um, but yeah, I would say you're on track. Let's just pull a card about music because I know that's your passion. And let's just see if that is something. More prevalent and I think for everybody during this time, pulling a card on like awakening too. And like, yes, well, I just started a new series, by the way, I call it the cup of love. And uh, anybody who wants to listen, I'm doing it on Sundays now. And so this podcast, I do three days a week. I do one interview show. I do one uh, live stream show. And then I do one uh, cup of love, which is all about connecting to the co- cosmic heart. So, yeah. Okay, so the music question. Okay, let's just see what we got. Uh, The innovator is the card coming up. Hmm. Okay, the innovator archetype. Okay, now it's uh, picturing a girl who's hanging upside down and she's talking on the phone. (laughs) Okay, so here's the messenger again. You're delivering that message. Uh, But it's just saying to pause and look at things from a different perspective and change your focus. So it almost feels like uh, there might need to be a surrendering. It's funny, you and I, before we started the show, we're talking about surrendering. And it feels like maybe there's a, a certain amount of surrendering that needs to go on for you as well in your career. Okay. Okay. But the innovator can also be tapping into your, your dream or archetype and that pure potential of like, how bad do you actually want this? Mm -hmm. And of course, if you want it, the universe wants it for you too, you know, because we, you know, there, you wouldn't have the dream in the first place if it weren't there for a reason. Right. So maybe the innovator is just trying to tell you, well, you know, maybe uh, finding a way to make it work that's maybe not in the traditional way. That's what I'm, yeah, that's what I'm really pushed to right now, especially during this time when all their shows are gone, you know, I'm like, oh, can I be a YouTube artist and, you know, making videos or I can do, can I do this storytelling thing? Yeah, exactly. I think that's a good idea, actually. So I like Rumi's quote that's like, you know, something about like whenever, whenever, Whenever you get off the path, the path finds you. Yes, that's yeah. true. I think that's been like a big trend in my whole life. Not yes. life. And I think everybody's kind of been derailed. Everybody's been derailed right now. Yeah. You know, when we think about like what's going on <laughs> with the planet. So, you know, and it's going to be a good thing in the end. But yeah, so let's pull a card on the, on the planet because I know you like to 
yeah well, into that. just on personal awakening in general yeah. is okay. really like that actually trumps <laughs> no pun intended that trumps like <laughs> that trumps the music it, it, i mean it's you know it's yeah that is a bigger focus because i know that everything mm. is around that i mean okay well here's your card self-care huh okay self-care okay so we have a lovely girl who is working out and she is obviously taking care of her body and she's focusing in on what do i need to do to be healthy yeah and so this card is just reminding you that when you take care of your own needs it actually helps everything else okay so always ask yourself what did what does john need today yeah Okay. And I think that will be, that will also help your own awakening. Okay. So, um, yeah, do some meditating, you know, try to tap into your dreams. These are all really good things, especially as a dreamer, as your archetype. Yeah. Um, you're going to get some good information, I think, coming in. Cool. Okay. Well, sounds good. All right. Well, thank you so much for coming on the show. I really appreciate you as always. Well, thank and you, Cynthia. It's great to be part of it. Thank you for... Yeah. Having, and yeah. everybody, make sure you check John out uh, on his Instagram and his YouTube channel. Uh, is, what, what is your YouTube, YouTube channel, by the way? Um, it's, it's really, again, social media analytics. But uh, the best thing is to do is just type my name in. Okay. Um, John Hatsunaka. Okay. It is, it's called, it is under sound in the messenger, but there's so many sound in the messengers okay. on it that um, you won't find it. Okay. Um, well, we'll put it, I'll make sure I put links in the show yeah. notes. Yeah, I'll link with Yeah. You. So everybody can find it in the show notes. So uh, thank you everybody for tuning in. As always, life has more meaning when it's shared. So make sure that you get out there and spread your love energy. And we look forward to connecting with you again very soon. Have a beautiful day, everyone. Thank you for listening to Love in Your Hands. Please rate, review, and subscribe to show your support. Have a question for Cynthia? Just post a comment. This podcast is sponsored by loveinyourhands.com, the place to find soulmate love fast. Start your free Soul Connection membership today, upload your hand photo, discover your relationship archetype and start finding soulmate matches. Just go to loveinyourhands.com to get started.